And hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Satisfactory. As usual, I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and today we're going to try to see if we can get um, Tier Four knocked out and do a little bit of man research. We're kind of at a stable point right now, but I'm also at the point where we're about to soon have to get to um, higher tiers before I can start doing things. And I really need to start tracking down hard drives and get some um, get some alternate recipes going because I'm kind of stuck right now. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work on the coal plant. Clank. Um, we now have 16 coal plants running that's producing a total of 1.2 megawatts. And this plant is pretty much stable following my normal design. So you've seen what it looked like before. So this is what it looks like now. In the meantime, I'm going to run all the way back home. I really need to put a hyper tube or something up just to be able to get there faster. Because, again, from this point forward, we're going to be spreading out all over the map. Because everything... Well, we've done everything we can in our small area and things are just going to ramp up from here. Now, my main concern is that right now, yes, we have unlocked Mark II miners, but right now my belts are all saturated because they're already running at 120 per second. I need to be able to get up to 240 per second, which is what I'll need when I go to the Mark Tier 2 miners, or Mark II miners on the um, iron node back there and the dual coal nodes. And to do that, I have to get more infrastructure unlocked and I'm going to need a lot more steel beams. So we're going to have to get a lot of stuff updated and run further. But for right now, I need as many options as I can get, so let's see what we can unlock. It feels so weird to be running across this place and not grabbing every leaf as I pass it. I think I have enough biomass at this point to keep me occupied for the rest of the game. Unless I want to go to liquid biofuel for the... Um, jetpack at some point, like when I get that. I did do a tiny bit of running around offline. Again, my um, Twitch stream will be linked down below if you want to see some of the stuff I did that I didn't save. Um, I did find a cave that had some stingers in it, so we have found the fourth amount of um, the fourth critter that we need to unlock alien megafauna. The, do the alien megafauna research. We're going to be doing that in a little bit. Um, and I think I have everything, or can grab everything from manufacturers for the, um, to get us all the way through tier four. So we're going to do that, then we're going to have to focus on getting that space elevator up and running. So we may do that next. The, um, the place I found the stingers is right over here. I'll show it to you because we're about to come up on it. Um, I was actually tracking down a Mercer sphere. Yeah, you see these um, little um, gas plants here? There's a teeny tiny cave back here. And the stingers were in this cave. See, I can even get in there. And there is a Mercer Sphere back there, but it's right next to that stinger, or that gas plant. Let's see if I can get it without dying. The effigy has no song, only echoes, but it is part of a river. Why does the effigy avoid the windows? Attention. Your brain's operations are outside typical parameters. Time spent daydreaming will be deducted from your sustenance budget. Um, Ada, that wasn't me. I don't know how to tell, tell you this, but it wasn't me. Okay. So, let's get back up to the man and see what we can do. And I do want to move this later, too, so... Let's do some unlocking. There. 
there. Oh, I don't have enough of those on me. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Okay. And I don't have enough of that on me either. Wow, I thought I had more stuff than I did. Okay. Uh, so I need about 70 frames and I need a thousand more copper wire. But, fortunately, that's right over here. So, I need 70 more of these. Let's get about, let's get some more so I'll have some to carry around afterwards. The copper wire is over here somewhere. This one, I think. Okay, I need a thousand more. There's a thousand, and I'll keep a thousand for myself, just so I'll have more. Okay, that should be enough for now. Or at least that will get us the next one done. Then we'll see what we need after that. Where's the... Where's the ladder? There it is. I could probably jump off and survive. I do have to parachute, but... Okay. Take the rest of these. Take the rest of these. Okay. Milestone reached. After several pioneers started exhibiting traumatic responses to power blackouts, Fixit developed mitigation tools recommended by your local therapist. Power storages can hold excess power to delay or prevent blackouts in the eventuality that your factory's power consumption exceeds production. To simplify, these are rechargeable batteries. Power towers carry power lines for significantly greater distances than poles, facilitating factory expansion and exploitation of this environment for the good of Fixit and humanity. All right, that's gonna take a few minutes to come back. So let's see what we can do next. We'll go with Logistics Mark III next because like I said, I need these conveyor belt Mark III's in order to do anything, in order to use the minor Mark II's. So, select that. We're going to need 200 steel beams, which we have. We need 200 steel pipes, which we have. We need 400 um, reinforced iron plates. Excuse me, which we don't have, but I can go get this. Because they're all over here. Reinforced iron plates are also used to make conveyor mark twos, so, you know, I need to keep a collection of those around anyway. Those are over here. So let's just get 400 of those and fill up my last stack. There we go. And now I have enough to take care of that when it comes back. And I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. We'll be able to take care of that when we're done. In the meantime, let's go do a little bit of research because, like I said, I did find those those guys. The remains researched belong to an organism with eight jointed legs, similar to the legs of arachnids, but with non-standard distribution and function. Because its attacks focus on stabbing prey with the ends of their legs, which resemble insectoid stingers, they have been dubbed stingers. Stinger remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Yeah, they do look like spiders. Now, I need that, but I need, I need those beams for right now because I'm going to be doing further unlocks. But I can look at this, because I think we have all of this stuff. I need two DNA and four, or two protein and four bar 20 barrel nuts. Let's see if I have those. Yeah, we have plenty of barrel nuts and we have plenty of protein. So let's just go ahead and unlock that while we're here. 
because, you know, we're waiting on the thing to return anyway. Research completed. The protein inhaler can restore health in the eventuality that you have been carelessly damaging Fixit property. Yeah, the Fixit property is concerned about is you. Uh, I don't have any circuits or I think it's a high speed connector and a um, crystal oscillator. I don't have any of those yet, so I can't do anything with that. This, like I said, I can do, but I'm going to have to get some more steel before I do that, and I need that better right now. Over here, we have still not found any SAM. It used to be called SAM ore, it's just SAM now. SAM I am, I guess. But, um, yeah, I just have to find that. I haven't come across any yet. Caterium, I know where to get a Caterium node now. In fact, they have enough of that to go on. Yes, I do. So let me put that aside, that aside, and this aside for now. And pick up my Caterium more. Okay. Can I hear our... Research completed. Caterium ingot recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. Okay, I'm going to need this because it'll let me do a lot of electronics later on. Oops, but we don't have it right now. Here comes our transfer. So, while we're here, let's go ahead and get 200 of those. We got 200 of those. We have 400 of those. There we go. Milestone reached. Improved storage containers and the conveyor belt Mark III provide the obviously necessary tools for improving your current setup. Production speed is of the essence after all. So work hard. Work as if every person you have ever or will ever love is depending solely on the choices that you make. Because they are. Warning. Fix-it psychologists recommend not dwelling on the crushing mental and physical strain of your responsibilities and simply continuing to be productive. Hard work has repeatedly proven to be the best cure for any kind of stress. Now back to work. Thanks for the pep talk, Ada. Okay, what's, what do we need next? Uh, both of those are kind of useless as far as I'm concerned. Okay, for fix-it blueprints, we're going to need... 100 modular frames, I can go get more of those. 200 steel beams, which looks like we're out, but I have a secret. We need to get some more cable, and we've got enough concrete. Uh, the secret I have is that I had some stashed in here. Surprise. Okay. So, um, I need to go get some more modular frames and some more cables. Okay and may as well get some concrete while I'm down here. And wait, because we've got, well, three and a half minutes before it comes back. And the concrete factory is way over here. And I may put some power storage up over here just because, again, we have time and we have resources and just in case, yeah. There's the thousand we're gonna need. Here. Because I need to get the cables and the modular frames. Okay. Cables are right over here. And yes, I know this was a mess, but I've been here enough that I don't know where it is now. Okay, I have 350, I need 500, so let's get and a few more that should be that'll be enough and let me have more later and I need some more modular frames go grab another hundred there we go okay we're getting a little low on modular frames I'm going to have to look at popping that factory so Ready for that. 
when that gets back. Let's see what we got over here in research tech. Okay, I can't do anything with that yet. Can't do anything with that yet. Mycelia. What can I do here? Nope, I need fuel production for that. I need rotors and our well I can build a rotor by hand, but and I need boatless because I don't have noblest yet. Uh, let's skip straight to that. In order to get that, I need 50 sulfur and 25 coal. Fortunately, I have those. I've been collecting those, so we have those. Over here. Research completed. Black powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available. Yeah, what I really want is this guy. But I don't know that I've got enough in this guy later on. And that would be useful, but I can't make that much black powder right now. I'm going to have to set up a factory to do that. I think I can make a few by hand. Or not. Maybe we can't make that by hand. Actually, I don't know. Anyway, I guess we can't. I have to build a manufacturer for that. But I'm going to have to wait till I have more coal and sulfur available. And put the extra Katerian back for now. Okay, what else can we build over here? Oh, here comes the... So we can't do anything here yet. So here, 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 oops, there, 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 and there, okay. Milestone reached. Blueprints reduce repetitive building tasks, further optimizing your progression towards saving Earth with its beautiful ecosystems, abundant natural resources, and sunsets over frolicking puppies and kittens. The blueprint designer allows you to build and combine structures once and then duplicate that configuration effortlessly. Any complaints about the spatial restrictions will only reveal your own inefficiencies. Yeah, that last is a joke. When they first introduced um, blueprints, they only made them at 4x4 four four grids and people were upset about it because they couldn't make whole factories in it. And the developer's response was basically, well, the whole point of the game is building factories. We don't want you to automate them. Uh, there are higher tier blueprint designers now, which lets you get to five and six grids, but I actually found they were a little less useful than you would think because um, you still have to manually put conveyor belt and power line connections between them, so you're still doing stuff anyway. And they're a little finicky to hook up to one another, but we'll show you that later. All right, right now I need another 50 encased in Dale's Real Themes. I got those. I need 300 pipes. I got those. I need 500 copper sheets. I don't have those. So let's go get some copper sheets. Those are also up here somewhere. And I turned the wrong way, but that's okay because they're in one of where are those? One of these. There we are. I'm right past. Okay. Okay, we need 500, so let's get 500. Well, 600. That'll give us 500. Okay. We're now set for that last milestone. And it's a hyper tube. Maybe I'll actually finally build a hyper tube just to get between here and my other side of my factory. Because we're going to expand. My the way I've done this in the past is I've actually just kept a relatively small factory and just would leave my computer on overnight so it would just produce everything it needed. We'll try to be a little more efficient this time. Alright, what was
was I looking at? Uh, nutrients. Is there anything left here? Uh, actually, I have everything I need there, but I also need those for what I'm about to um, build. So, you know. Do, or do I? Uh, I? No, I don't need any of those anymore. I guess I am. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and unlock that. And I think I have all of Research that. Research shows potential for processing planetary nutrients for pioneer benefit. Nutritional inhaler research available. How about that? Nutritional inhaler recipe unlocked. Using this inhaler will restore health and also gives your skin a radiant glow that is connected to well-being and probably not radioactivity. Probably. And we have now unlocked a complete tier. Power slugs. I haven't found a purple slug yet. Quartz. This is where we need to concentrate next, I think. This and here. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do anything else right now. Do I still have 300 pipes? Yes, I still have 300 pipes. So we're good there. At the moment, we're just waiting on stuff to come back. But let's start planning ahead. To get this space elevator up and running, I need a thousand of those. Let's be back in 30 seconds. I need a thousand of those smart planning. Which, then I'm going to have to make a thousand versatile frameworks and that hundred automated wiring. So it sounds like a visit to the space elevators in our future. Milestone reached. By adding hypertube entrances at both ends of hypertubes, pioneers can achieve two-way travel between locations. They are also error percent safer than jump pads. You dreamed of moving across factories like valued resources such as rocks and water and fix it listen to your dreams. We watched them. We took extensive notes. Hypertubes. Because fix it makes pioneers closely monitored dreams come true. Uh, let's be honest, I haven't slept since I've been here. Um, is there anything I can do here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Even though there's a bed in here, that thing's purpose is to let us change our... Alright. Change our appearance, by the way. Or change your outfit. Alright. So I need a thousand versatile... Um, my versatile frameworks, I need a thousand smart plating, which I've been producing for some time now. So let's go over here and 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Wow, can even carry all of it. And notice that's still not going to be a thousand. But let's head in that direction. Least get started. Space elevators up there. Yup. That's not gonna work because I'll hit a cliff. So let's go over here. Yeah, it's telling me not enough space because I literally filled up all my space with the um, things. But my poor space elevator's been abandoned for so long, or been ignored for so long, it's time we spent some time and gave it some love. All right. Here we are. 
smart plating. Now they have 700, which means I need 300. I've got like 200 more back, um, so we're just going to have to wait for that to build up for a while. But I'm also going to need some more stuff. So what I'm going to do is over here and just sort of line up with this guy. I'm going to build an assembler because I know I'm going to need an assembler. This assembler, I'm going to have start making versatile frameworks. Versatile frameworks take modular frames and steel beams, which I don't have a tremendous amount of, but we have them. So I'm just going to go ahead and manually load the um, thing. And it's not going to be going very fast, so I'm just going to take that and run it in. Now I've got to power this thing. Well, fortunately, I know where power is. So let's just throw down some power line poles. Can I get all the way there from here? Yep. Okay. So now I just have to run this power back to my main base, and it will start producing stuff on its own. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just going to run this this way, just because I can. Let's see here, is that clipping through anything? Probably. At some point, I'm going to try to do a... Actually, why don't we? Why don't we go ahead and put a big power tower right here? Because I would still need the other thing to get to it. Never mind. So that manufacturer, or excuse me, assembler up there should start producing power stuff, or producing stuff. So outside of that, I'm out of a lot of things. Some more concrete. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to need some steel, but I need modular frames at the very least. What does it take to build a um, miner? I know I'm going to have to make a um, portable miners. I'm going to need four of those. So let's get some portable miners. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move this whole thing. Because I can't do anything here right now, so let's see here. Take everything out of that. Oops, I can't take everything out of that. I don't have enough space yet. Okay. Put 
this here for right now. We can store all this stuff in it. And I'm doing this because I'm about to move the man. The man is gone. Long live the man. I'm going to go back up to my space elevator because I'm going to move my base of operations there because that's where everything will eventually need to be. So it may as well make sense for us to put that at the center of our operations. And you see we've already gotten 14 of our personal frameworks there. Okay. Let's put it... Just to make life simple, I'm going to throw up some basic walls first. Just so I don't walk off the edge. Okay. And just like we did up above, we're going to put our... Back there, we're going to stick our hub right here in the corner. Let's get that nice and centered. Okay, we want that right up against, but not across the edge. And this we want to, yes, you can clip one through the wall, because that way you will also clip one through the wall over here. And there we are. What did I just, I hit the wrong button. I hate it when I do that. Let's try that again in slow motion. Okay. I keep hitting the wrong button. This is why I do a lot of this stuff with offline, guys, okay? Okay. That's there. This is the same size and footprint of, that we had in the other place. It's just that now we build it up here on the space elevator, but we have plenty of space. All right. Now let's run some power lines around. Same thing I did on the other side, and we're going to put a um, another assembler. So, all right. One over, one out. Run you into there. Doesn't matter which one. 
need you to make automated wiring. Now, automated wiring requires stators and cable, and we haven't built any stators yet. That's going to be next on our to-do list. But here, have some cable just to get started. And for right now, we're going to go ahead and power you up. Oh, because I just gave away all my cable. Duh. Okay. Let's go get some more stuff. Eventually, of course, we're going to run conveyors or trains or truck routes to handle all this stuff. Haven't decided yet. Never use trucks. Kind of may build one this time just to see what a truck is like. How? Although I think I would eventually replace it with a train line anyway. Um, I like conveyors even over long distances just because conveyors never stop running. Even if you lose power, your conveyor keeps running because conveyors don't lose power. Everything else needs power, fuel, or both. So let's go over here and get some cables. I'll say four for right now. That should be enough. On here, let's go ahead and get the rest of the um, smart plating we can. Then let's run back take apart some more of our old hop. Okay, let's take apart the MAM. Let's take apart the workshop. Take apart the shop. And let's see how much of this stuff we can pick up. Sort that first, and then there we go. All right. And again, later we're going to run walkways and everything for this. But for right now, not the most exciting thing, but. It centralizes a lot of stuff. start by this, which means I need 120 more, which I don't have at this point. I'm going to go over here and start storing the things we don't need right now. Build our um, equipment workshop. And make sure it's, you know, neatly tucked in the corner. Okay. And we're going to rebuild the man. So make sure it's neatly hooked in the corner. Okay. And finally, we're going to rebuild the awesome shop. Which I think I can squeeze in here. No, I can't. Oh well. So we'll just put it here next to the entrance. How about that? Yeah, I built that too far out. 
should have done my usual positioning first. No, it won't let me put it anywhere else. Oh well. Okay. So finally, all I need to do is go get the. Um, man, that guy just came up from below. Look at that. But you could jump over there, stand over there, and jump on it when it comes up. I'm gonna go get the rest of the former hub, and then it'll be moved. Is a good base, but we don't need it anymore. And there we go. It's like we were never there except we cleared out all the foliage. Now we're here. Let's store the rest of the stuff that was in there. I think that's it. Okay. And we're going to decide what we're going to do next. I think we're going to. I'm going to need those soon, so I'm going to grab them. So, what we need to do next is we need to get our, um, we need to get some lights built. Can I build lights yet? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I guess I need to get quartz production up and running, because I think that what leads to lights. And from there, we need to get our marked, everything moved up to Mark II binders and Mark III belts. And then we can see what we can do about automating everything over here. So we're going to stop here for now. Until next time, I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and we are playing Satisfactory. I'll see you next time.